Hey, my name is Bales. In one of my previous videos, I asked the question, can you use LEGO instructions to build in Minecraft? And we came to the conclusion that although you couldn't follow it for a block by block guide, you could draw inspiration from the sets. So I wanted to show you how to do just that. I came up with a few steps that you could follow to make the Minecraft build look really similar to the LEGO set. First of those being picking out six features of the LEGO set that you want to include in the build. The six features of this set that I've chosen are the big window on the top left, the bay window on the bottom right, the intricate detailing around all of the windows, the window sills on the bookshop, the stone decal outside the bookshop on the pavement, and the lantern right in the middle of the birch books sign. Let's get into building the first building. Whilst building both of these buildings, I used the LEGO website to get the instructions, which helped me get a closer look at the set, and it can also give you some inspiration for the interior. Straight off the bat, I noticed that this building was 16 studs long, meaning it didn't have a central point, so we actually added an extra block making it 17 blocks long, and now it had a center. That's why at the beginning you saw me plan out with stone exactly where everything was going to go. And you saw that I added in an extra floor, and that's because these buildings are quite tall and narrow, and that just wasn't coming across with just the three floors. So don't be afraid to change the Lego sets, because we're only drawing inspiration from them. And before anybody says anything in the comments, I know that this isn't the correct scale, okay? In order to make it look good, I have edited the scale ever so slightly. The scale that we used for this build was one stud equals one block. It worked really well for this set, and I think that could vary on whatever set that you're building. Before building a Lego set in Minecraft, just have a think about what one stud will be equal to. Not bad, not bad. I'm liking it so far. The sides are very boring, but obviously normally you would have other buildings next to it. The back, a little bit less boring. I think I would probably put another building here and then have this as like a little courtyard. There's going to be another building going on this side and that's what we're going to do next. Lots of the details that I wanted to include I have included and there is certainly a really strong resemblance between both the Minecraft version and the Lego version. We've managed to keep in the lantern, the window sills, the intricate stone designs, the big window, and the little pavement thing at the bottom. I'm honestly over the moon with how this has turned out, like it's genuinely super super close to the LEGO version, but now it's time to do the next building. This blue building didn't need as much change to it as the bookstore did, and I didn't add any more floors or anything like that because I wanted to show you what it would look like if I stuck directly to the LEGO set. And this one is a little bit too short and chunky, and I know that's not how I intended it to look, but I kind of like it. It looks like a building that's going to be sandwiched between two skyscrapers, and I'm kind of in love with it. I do think it would look a little bit better if it was just the slightest bit taller. Boom, here you have it. We've got the bay window, we've got the intricate detailing around these, and honestly, it almost looks identical to the Lego set. I am so, so happy with how this turned out. Oh, I also added in the little lantern and a flower bed around the bottom because I noticed I hadn't included that. These are the steps that I followed to get our Minecraft builds to look so similar to the Lego sets. I'm absolutely in love with these, they look so cool! Number one was identifying some key features that we wanted to include from the LEGO set. Number two was calculating scale. This would allow us to leave enough space for adding detail, but also to keep the same sort of vibe. Like for these buildings, we kept them tall and narrow. Step number three isn't really a step, it's more of a reminder, and that's just to not be afraid to change things. Like for the bookshop, it was too short and chunky, but then I added in the extra floor, and then it was tall and skinny again, which was the vibe that the LEGO set was trying to go for, because they're meant to be townhouses. And of course, I would suggest using the LEGO website to find the LEGO instructions for the set that you're trying to draw inspiration from, so that you can get a closer look at all of the details, and if you want to do the interior, then you can draw inspiration from the LEGO set for the interior. This build will be available for download to YouTube members, so that you can have a look around and have a closer look at everything that we've done today. But I hope these steps were able to help you build your LEGO sets in Minecraft. I found that they really helped me and I'm over the moon with how the end result looks. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.